the quality of the product, the quality of the process, the quality of the system is going to significantly shoot up. And shoot up not only by means of time, but also mistake proofing. For the regular working in the pharma industry, uh, it's not possible for us to change things overnight. Okay. Uh, you, you may have technologies. We have been bombarded by technologies around us saying that this can work, that can work. But we have to be very careful. Well, if you look at data, it's, I mean, the sky is the limit literally. You have multiple options that you're kind of looking at. And uh, I think what we're currently looking to do is to make sure that we have the data that's flowing in an integrated manner right across. So besides technology is also the culture within the organization, uh, you know, um, that within the pharma uh, organization, industry itself, and what sort of feedback you get, get in. So technology and the teams, which is the marketing and sales team, which is the planning team, which is the finance team getting together, and even not to forget the basic SNOP process and other things, technology is not going to work on its own. I have had the opportunity to listen to all these stalwarts of the industry. Uh, the top line, what happens at a pharma company, uh, of course it's a very minuscule information which I have uh, from all of you, the quality aspects, the compliances, the manufacturing and everything else. But at the end of it, all of us are working towards one goal, the patient. So, if government supports and the industry also supports, I mean, technology can do much, much better than what we have uh, today in the pharma industry. Thank you so much, uh, you know, gentlemen, for sharing your insights, your experiences.